British Columbia, on the west coast of Canada, is the place many wild Pacific salmon call home. This story is about these amazing fish and the trouble they are in. The recent introduction of salmon farms in many coastal areas provides a large number of potential hosts for sea lice in nearshore coastal areas all year round. Since salmon farms regularly contain more than half a million fish per farm, even low numbers of sea lice on each farmed salmon add up to very large numbers being released into the surrounding water. Female sea lice carry up to 500 eggs in two long strings that look like tails. Sea lice grow through several stages and then must find a host salmon to attach to in order to survive. Before salmon farms, sea lice had never been reported on small juvenile pink salmon, only on adults. Because young pink salmon are so tiny when they enter the ocean, some are smaller than a triple A battery, just one louse may be lethal. If fewer young salmon make it out to the ocean, this means fewer adults will return to spawn. If this cycle continues, research suggests salmon could totally disappear in some areas and the ecosystems and communities that depend on them will suffer. If the salmon go, what will be next? If you think wild salmon are too important to lose, make sure your voice is heard Know what kind of salmon you're eating and think twice about eating farmed salmon. For more information, visit our website.